how's the team um, looking and, and prepped? No, I've been good. We um, all rolled in over yesterday and the Hollanders boys in today, so a bit of clarity this morning, a little bit of basketball, but um, yeah, slowly getting into it. Everyone's excited? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah there's a, a real buzz, uh, especially for the guys like the Blues and the Hollanders just coming off a, a final, so um, I'm pretty excited to be here as well. You've already had to say goodbye to, to Quinn. Um, must have been a nice surprise for him, you know, being with the team, hearing his name being called in out oh, of the work squad. Special moment for him and his family, uh, definitely. Um, you see the blood go out of his face when the announcement comes, so uh, no, it was awesome. And obviously we were all around him and gave him a high five and a, and a bit of a hug, but um, I think special moment for him and his, his family when he went out and rang him on his phone. and. Uh, yeah, no, we're stoked for him. He's had a, he's had a great uh, super season and uh, we've brought Ramak uh, Poipi in and it's a great opportunity for him as well. Yeah, because how does it work in terms of, like, obviously you've got to pick your squad that's mm -hmm. named before the All Blacks. Is he someone who must have, you know, come in late? Is this, you know, selection for, for them? Um, he, yeah, because he was down here, he probably wasn't mm -hmm. expecting his name to be called out, as you mentioned. I think he could have been in there in their conversations for a little while. Um, for his super rugby form for the Chiefs. He's uh, a young bull on the rise and he played some pretty good rugby, he got injured. Um, so I think he's always on their radar. And um, yeah, I can't comment on how all the selections have over the last couple of days, but I know he was pretty much in the conversations for the last wee while. Yeah, so when, was it after dinner, the, the team just decided, you know, they'd watch the, the announcement. Do you think anyone at all thought they, they might be considered? Uh, no, 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 it was all a big surprise for for everybody there and we just thought we'd, we'd watch it, just had an interest for some of our Super Rugby teammates as well. And then for Quinn to hear that uh, was pretty special, you know, as uh, you know, us as, I guess, as, as coaches and as players, we're, um, we're stoked for him. But also a disappointing for a couple other guys who in that room that were pretty close as well. Yeah, and you've worked with him over the last few years. What have you kind of seen in his game that's kind of taken him, you know, from that level to be considered for the All Blacks? Well, he works hard. You know, he's, he's always had that attribute. He's a, he's a strong ball carrier, strong runner. He's worked really hard on his, his um, triple threat, which is his kicking and his passing as well. So um, his post-contact work is outstanding with his offloads. Um, his line breaks now, he's, he's making line breaks and having the ability to set his outsides away um, and getting a second touch. So uh, he's grown his game. He's only 22 and he's going to get better. Yeah, and do you think that move to second five has, has helped him as well? Uh, he's always played uh, 12 and 13 um, at the end there about, so um, 13 is a little bit different to defend there, out wider. Uh, he's got all the attacking attributes out there as well, but I think coming into 12, um, uh, you know, I guess your defensive pitch is a little bit different, and it's definitely helped him. Um, I'd love to see him in the next couple of years to be able to play centre as well and keep developing that, because like Anton, we have the ability to play 12 and 13 and be world class there as the next level. So. Um, but for him as a young guy, coming in as a specialist 12, uh, where he's not too many in New Zealand at the moment, putting the hand up, um, he's got a real chance to uh, stake a claim for that next week, I guess, for that first test. Yeah, and what was, you know, I guess you had to farewell him this morning as you head off mm. to the airport to go join your work? Mm. Yeah, you know, we had a, a farewell for him, so he's he's pretty humble and unassuming, so he tried to slip out, uh, but I think he, he uh, might have had a few texts to to check off last night with everybody, so I think he um, didn't get too much sleep, yeah, and understandably. You, yeah, and you mentioned the Blues and Highlanders guys were, you know, late to, to joining the team. How easy is it to, you know, get this team, um, you know, prepared for, for a game on, on Saturday? Um, you know, we, with our, I guess with our culture and a lot of our guys have been involved with the team over the last couple of years, um, we feel it's pretty seamless, you know, we guess getting our culture part settled and then the rugby as well is, is really important for us, so um, the culture side of it, getting up and getting our wānanga and our whakatau going um, is really important for us and then the rugby um, will fall into place we feel outside of that and then come Saturday we'll be well prepared. Yeah, and just a final one from me, yeah, what, what are kind of the expectations for you know these games against Samoa? Uh, they're going to be physical, well, we know that, um, they've got some coaches from the Blues with uh, Tana and Tom, um, Andrew Goodman from the Crusaders, and Solana Mapasua, so they've got some some good coaching there. Um, I think they got together last week. Yeah, like I said, they're going to be really physical. And for us, 
Um, I guess we're not too sure how they're going to play, other than that physical edge they'll bring on both sides of the ball. So we're preparing for that, preparing for maybe a bit of rain and wind potentially in Wellington. Um, but yeah, I guess for us, it's controlling all weekend. You mentioned Quinn and developing his game and other parts of it. So the, the kicking game, which is so important for second fives and, mm. and that sort of thing now, is, is how is that going for him? And yeah, he's getting a lot better. He's um, He works a lot on that training and also with Anton as well. And um, and at times even tries to grab the kicking tee, which um, David Hill says no, no. So <laughs> um, he's, yeah, he's, the, the thing with Quinn, he's a hard worker and with Anton, um, there as well at the Chiefs, he's got no one better to learn off, you know, so uh, when they're doing extra skills work, he's always working on his, his other skills, um, passing pre-contact and, and his kicking game, so um, finished product, no. Is he going to get better? Yep. Uh, this is a tough one. How many games did you play? In I'm not sure. It was over a few years. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, just about the, um, you know, when you come together, and we will perhaps know about the, the All Blacks and how special that is, but what about when everyone comes together for the Māori and, you know, it, what it means to players? You know, how, how, how is that sort of feeling? Oh, it's awesome. You know, it's a team, no, no different to when I was a player, I guess, back in the 90s, a long time ago, um, where you, you have your super teams and, yeah. You're all based out of a hotel, and we are professional teams. Don't get me wrong, but what we do try to do is, is we try to connect. Sometimes out of Marae early, it hasn't happened this year, unfortunately. But we try and get a connection to a Marae, you know, in Rotorua or somewhere, and for two or three days, and connect that way. And then the rugby always comes a little bit after that. Um, uh, this week's been a little bit more rushed. I guess with the uh, with the final just being on the weekend, so um, getting that balance right um, is a bit of a bit of a tricky one. So the Fado and that sort of thing is a very important part of it, and the, the yeah. cult culture within. You know, obviously you got to wear combinations and that sort of thing as well, but it's yeah. the connection. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah you come in, you're hungry straight away, and you get up there, and the boys will be up there tomorrow, and going for the pepeha, which is really special for them and their Fano and and so something like that to connect um, for us. And with Ako Matu or Luke, um, it helps some guys. So everyone's on varying levels of their understanding with their multi side. But, um, you know, we, there's no judging. We come in and we're all kind of learning and, and um, embracing it. It's awesome. So, last one for me. So, you, over the years, of course, you've played touring teams mm -hmm. and the Lions and the likes, but of course, that doesn't tend to happen much these days, mm. touring side. So is it playing the Pacific Island teams, well, what does that mean? How, you know, is that, is that you know, a, a natural sort of um, meeting sort of thing to, to, to take on take on the Pacific Island teams? Yeah, it was always the teams that I mean, we played. It was, it was uh, pretty scary to go over to play in Tonga and Samoa and Fiji. So they are our brothers, you know, uh, Pacific brothers, and, and they're always physical games. Um, and with COVID at the moment, those are the games we can get as well. Um, but we love we love playing the Pacific Island teams, and to be able to play in Wellington this week, where there's some um, a strong um, Polynesian um, community as well as up in Auckland next week is uh, pretty special, not only for our whanau's but them as well. Oh, so you're going to get your fair share of support, Bendy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. There's plenty of Maldives here as well, so <laughs> and travelling, uh, travelling from Hawke's Bay and whatnot, so. Uh, nah, that's going to be awesome, and it's awesome for Samoa as well. You mentioned yeah. with um, you know Quinn being surprised at his call up as coaches. Do you get any sort of heads up? Um, no, nah, not really. No, nah. yeah, wish we did. I did Fozzie's lawns a couple of weeks ago, but no inkling around <laughs> anything like that. So, so when his name was called out, that was the first. Because does that force a bit of you know replanning for for you? Obviously, yeah, you're happy that he gets called up. I'll stoke for him. Yeah. yeah, you just you put anything else aside, you just stoke for the kid. How much hard work he's put in, and um, and it's yeah, it's a special, special, special time. So, final question yeah. over here. Thank you. So you will now be looking to replace Quinn in the squad. Yeah. So uh, Ramaka Puipi, um from the Chiefs, he's going to be coming in. Um, he's just arrived now. So we've told Quinn to take his gears off and leave him in the room for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
might just ask quickly, uh, um, TJ Pedernado, was he, was he considered for the squad? Can we have you look in this way, Roger? Just yep. the camera. Yeah, go for it. Uh, TJ, um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened it's, uh, with uh, New Zealand rugby and his contract there. Uh, but yeah, clearly he's someone that we'd love to have um, involved with, um, with Māori rugby. But um, yeah, I'm not privy to any of the conversations with New Zealand rugby around that.